Life, camera, action. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Emergency Intercom. Today, we talk about how ever since moving into this home, there has been an intrusive fear for our lives. It's cursed. This house is cursed. It's evil. There's a lot of dark energy in here and it needs to be addressed. And I know a lot of y'all are hearing this and are extremely excited to hear this because probably for the past two years, we've been saying, um, wait for the podcast. We'll tell the stories on the podcast. Yeah. And now's the fucking time. I actually do think we've slipped up and have said it pub like all of these stories at least once publicly but now they're like congealed into yeah. one thing so yeah. you don't have to go running around and there's new there's new shit there's new developments to the story there's new development to <laughs> there's the curse ner- of <laughs> the <laughs> there's ner- umanzor philip chateau um except the new development is just kind of embarrassing on my part but we'll get into that later we'll we have to start that. from the beginning the very, very, very beginning. Which is... The home invasion. Yeah. And to so we moved into this apartment in May 2019. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, soon after, like, I think two weeks after moving in, I took a trip to Miami. Yeah, it was, it was very quick. It was very... We were very fresh to this house. Like, we uh, were still, like, learning our neighborhood and shit. We, we didn't really know where we were like at placement wise on the map yeah and um we're just chilling one night like Inya's gone um it's me and josh in the house um josh had already been gone for a couple days back at his house um or his parents house just like hanging out with his parents um and he came back and i was like oh finally like not an alone night because i don't really like being alone but i wasn't really scared before this i was kind of just like whatever like um i don't like being alone but i can handle this but then everything changed everything changed um so one night inya's out of the house josh goes to bed like really really early for some reason he never ever ever goes to bed early and it was just like it was planned by josh it was exactly i think he like called a hit on me um but basically um we were just like Josh was asleep in his room or like getting ready to fall asleep and I was just chilling in my room with my door wide open and I was I can't remember if I was playing the Minecraft album or if I was playing Minecraft I might have actually been playing Minecraft I think I was playing that era yeah I, I think I was playing Minecraft and like the sound of Minecraft was blasting through the house like it was it was loud as shit and I have to be like um I had to make that clear like it wasn't my computer was on full blast like it wasn't quiet um and like i'm just playing minecraft whatever and then i'm like okay i'm getting like really really tired like i need to go to bed soon um so like i'm just like winding down my night um and then i hear azul like screaming like literally yelling at the top of his lungs which like isn't abnormal yeah because she has bad separation anxiety so when i do leave and we had just moved to this house so she was on a really bad one and even when i was here she would like scream to be let out of the room and like wander and like learn the house was this pre-escape or post-escape i think he had already gotten out and oh then, yeah, th- yeah, yeah. He had already gotten out. So, but yeah, he was still just like in an anxious like. He was like, feral. I don't know where the fuck I am. Like, yeah, he was like, I went out, I went out, and I, my, go I haven't sex. seen my owner in like a week. I'm like losing my mind. Yeah, he. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's always screeching. He. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna go lock him on that side of the house because we have like doors separating the house. So I like walk over there, and um, I pass by this uh, the door to like the parking garage and like. Inya um, always leaves that light on um, and like when I was passing by it um, to go to bed or to go play Minecraft before I had turned it off and I was like like out of, not out of spite but I was just like I want this light off I don't like it on and also I for the more context to turn it off I leave I leave front lights and back lights on because the olden saying, if you don't want your house to be fucking broken into, you leave lights on so any intruders think there's someone in the house already. Exactly. And I didn't realize that before. And 
now now that light is literally on 24 yeah. 7 i don't think it's been turned off since um but passing by um i noticed that the light was on and i was like god damn it josh like why the fuck did you turn that light on like this is very very annoying like whatever so i like flick the light off don't notice anything different um but i in my head i was like huh i thought i turned that light off but it was on but i turned it off again walk over to the side of the house and then i noticed the door separating like Inya's bedroom side of the house the stairs to the front door everything is like shut already and i was like that's weird because yeah. it was open it was like already open because like we i hadn't turned the house off yet like i haven't gone to bed yet um so i thought that was weird and then i opened this door and i'm greeted with like the raunchiest most disgusting stench I've ever smelt in my entire Sorry, life. Sorry, I left my dirty underwear before I went to Miami. Girl, right? I know what your underwear smells like, and I be because I'd be sniffing what? the shit out of that, and it did not smell like your underwear. What? You, no, just keep going. Just keep going. Well, I mean, you just leave it out, and I just smell it. Just okay, no, okay, just okay, keep okay, going. Okay, whatever, with whatever, whatever. So I'm like greeted with this like <laughs> raunchy smell, like like I wish I could describe it other than like just like fucking pure disgust and stench like gross <laughs> nasty 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 smell um and i'm like god damn it azul like why'd you shit like azul shit and now i'm gonna have to go clean up that shit because it's gonna fucking stain in your bed and someone's probably like oh azul's poop what could it smell that bad azul's poop smells really bad azul so has, it like, makes sense that turds. drew thought it was like azul's poop. yeah azul azul drops turds and i had no other re uh, no other idea like of what it yeah. could be and so then i like then I get this like uneasy feeling because I hear like Azul knock something off in the room or something falls in Inya's room and I'm like, I'm like, and I, out loud I'm like, God damn it, Azul, like stop throwing shit on the floor and I'm like, uh, very sussed out now and I'm like, Ugh, like I'm kind of uneasy and then like I take a step towards Inya's door and I see this fucking six foot four man just like dart into the doorway yeah and i'm like who, who the fuck who is this who is this and i and i'm like like literally shocked like frozen in fear like deer in headlights like pure fight or flight and my body was just frozen like i couldn't yeah. move i was so petrified and then like I'm, we're just looking at each other, it, which what like it felt like. Yeah, it felt like forever, but it was probably like a split second. It literally felt like 30 years, but it was probably like max three seconds. And he breaks the silence and he's like, what are you doing here? And like in my mind, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here? Like you're in my house. And so, but I, I, I don't remember if I say anything. It's like literally two years old now. Um, and so what, what happens is like... I like dart through our living room because like the way our house is oriented like I dart into our living room and like my first thought was like I'm gonna grab the knife that I was cutting apples with earlier it's sitting in the sink I didn't do and the dishes and something. I'm gonna cut this motherfucker up into little pieces and I like I'm gonna stand my ground and I'm gonna be the man of the house and not yeah let, right I'm like I'm gonna be the man of the house you're like <laughs> um and cut this bitch up I dart into the kitchen I touch the knife, I pick it up to stab him. This dude's already chasing after me. And then I'm like, in my head, like split decision. I'm like, I'm the biggest fucking pussy in the world. Like throw the knife back into the sink. This guy's coming after me. I'm like, okay, like I'm fully not fighting at this point. I'm flying away from the scene. Like I'm getting as far away from yeah, me as possible. Yeah, rightfully fucking so. And I'm like, bruh, like bruh. Josh is still in the house. Like I can't just leave Josh in the fucking house with this dude. Like what type of person would I be and then also in my mind I was like like after I thought about this I was like oh like like I know I like are like I know I care about y'all but I was like literally like this is like family to me like that I would yeah, like I know. put my life in I think danger. about that all the time because I'm like this the shape of the house is so small that one I was just thinking this if that man actually wanted to hurt you like he would have done it but yeah. obviously he was fucking freaked out too and he was like dude I straight up thought there was no one here yeah um and he was probably just like on this side of the house freaking out being like oh my god I'm gonna go to I'm jail I'm going to jail <laughs> yeah and also like it's so sweet that you were like 
could have just ran out and been like, I hope Josh wakes up and like <laughs> yeah. is okay. But you were just like standing in the doorway being like, Josh. Yeah, I was like standing in the jo- doorway, like screaming for Josh. I was like, Josh, wake the fuck up. Someone's in the house. Like, please wake up. Please, please hurry, hurry, hurry. And Josh was like, Drew, this isn't a funny joke. Like, why are you joking? Yeah. Like, I was dead asleep. And I'm like, Josh, no, I'm not fucking joking. Like, wake up, get over here. We're leaving. And Josh, like, eventually realized like i wasn't trolling because like it's also so funny when you tell this story i like always have to remind myself like this probably whole event took place under like five minutes no it, it literally took place in less than two minutes like it was like yeah. it was like a two minute ordeal like for me but it literally felt so long and then like me and josh, josh eventually comes to the back door i'm already fumbling with the door because for some reason it's locked already and like it, it, just, it just it would the door was locked whatever we unlocked it like literally out of a fucking horror movie like fumbling with the lock like trying to get it open and y'all and, like, already have a hard time at the back door yeah, like literally. i already know what it looked like yeah it was just like so absurd we like dart down the stairs into the backyard and we can either go left into the parking garage surrounded by six foot spike fences or we can take a right and, and go still have to jump a fucking fence jump like a th- four foot fence but like it's not as dangerous as jumping a six foot fence but for some reason we decide to go into our parking garage and jump the spike fucking fences and uh we do that josh like his ankle gets stuck in between the spikes it like cuts up his ankle he literally face plants into the ground like like hits his cheek really hard he had like a bruised cheek for like weeks after this i jump and i fall and like scrape up my leg and like it was just really pathetic and then <laughs> we're both barefoot and we sprint to this gas station about like a quarter mile up the street and call 911. And that's kind of the story of like the home invasion. And um, this motherfucker um, jumped in the exact same spot we jumped in um, <laughs> to get away. And like out of like a cartoon, like all of his clothes got ripped off. Like he like, like his, all of his clothes were on the fucking his gate. His pants, his shirt, his jacket, <laughs> his boxers, literally everything that could have gotten ripped off his body except for his shoes and his socks got ripped off. So he was like running through our neighborhood away from the cops like butt ass naked, which is fucking hilarious. You know what's also crazy? I wonder if he made that decision on purpose and took off his clothes and left them behind because he didn't want to be recognized for being in the house based on what he was wearing. Yeah, interesting. That's pro- possible. And then... The cops got here. They like searched the house. Um, front door was locked. Back door was locked. Um, he like was in the house for at least fifteen minutes, like while I was in here, which is like crazy, and um, I just didn't notice. And then he, as I say, I was sick also right before I left, so I had those like naked. Which also now that I think about it, I'm like okay. You really do grow a lot as a person, an adult, from the age of 19 to 21. Mm -hmm. Or I guess I'm 22 now, so it's like, whatever. But at this time, I had just turned 20. So from 20 to 22, at the age of 20, I thought something good to put in my body when I was sick was a fucking naked uh, juice like no. that is not good that is so much sugar and like, like all the bad sugar for you world. but that was like something i had like gotten while i was sick because You're like this like, is gonna cure me I this like, green oh, i need some green this green sugar water is gonna cure me so gross yeah he chugged that girthy ass drink he uh <laughs> went into the fucking shower in our boiler room in our laundry room and dry shaved his pubes with, with my razor. razor um and just like I don't, I don't, I don't understand like how you can do that. Like that is like the most icky feeling in the world to dry me. shaving or using someone else's razor. Dry shaving long ass pubes, like long, <laughs> long pubes, like with a not even like a bzz, like yeah, a, no, no, no. It was like razor. a fucking f- yeah, and he just razor. And also, was, that's like a bad place to like do that. <laughs> I, I just meant like hair and like. Yeah, and then he went to our living room, like, collected some gadgets. He got some keys. Um, he scored a car. He scored some cameras. Oh, yeah, he, like, put our all of our keys under my pillow in my room. Oh, yeah. Also, he slept in my fucking bed. Yeah. He laid in my bed. And there were pubes all over All over bed. everything. Ew. And I, I still don't know. Okay, he definitely went through my, like, shit. Yeah. But I had, like, my room kind of messy because I we just moved in. And I, then I had packed... But he went into my closet and like there were underwear everywhere. For, so I think no, he was he going through went my through underwear. Your underwear for sure. Cause um, there was like underwear like on your like uh 
fireplace like there was like it was strung everywhere and then he like he was, collected, having, he was like a little having a little party he was like me like smelling your underwear what the fuck are you talking about do you what? smell okay what? No, i'm not getting into it it's not weird it's natural anyways and then when drew called me i was in miami and my first thought was does he have my keys he's gonna steal my car <laughs> yeah yeah i was like is azul still in the house did he steal my keys and then you'd like Inya was like, when we called Inya and told her, she was like, where's Azul? Like, is Azul okay? And she didn't even, like, give a single shit Okay, about because me in my head, I was like, obviously, they're okay because they called me and I, I'm hearing both of their voices. I was a little offended by that. I, was I, a I little, know. A I, when I look back at it. But, like, also, you were talking to someone who, like, I've, like, had so many, like, literally, like, the year before I left the house, we were all sitting in my house and a guy just, like, came through the front door and was stealing bikes. And then he thought the door was open and my dad walked out and there was just this guy outside of our house, like, stealing shit off of our lawn and, like, Bruh. about to walk into the house. So, like, it, it, again, not to, like, I'm not... I, in my head, like, this... You're making my trauma competition. In my head, this Seriously. was, like, normal things that happen in life. So no, I was, like... Never once no, no, happened no. to me. But I did I did end up apologizing. And I was, like, sorry that I was, like, <laughs> concerned about, like, all my things. First. Yeah, I remember just, like, like calling you, like, on a high. Like, like I was just, like, fucking attacked. Like, all this shit. And you're, like, is Azul okay? Like, where's Azul? Okay, um, also, like, Azul just got back. So I was, like, yeah. this fucking cat is gone again. I'm gonna, like... I, I don't blame again. you, like, for freaking out because like he could have just left like all the yes i open. will defend my behavior to like any lengths and that's what we're <laughs> learning today yeah um but yeah i did not have the best response i had also just woken up and it, at the ripe time of 1 p.m in miami and i was like so my car is getting stolen and my cat's gone again yeah um but yeah they ended up finding the keys under my pillow because then i begged them to um to throw my sheets away because I literally could... I already have issues with my bed being dirty. Yeah. So the fact that he would do that to me... Thank God I wasn't home. Drew says that all the time. And I, like, always think about that. Like, if I was home, I don't want to think about what would Yeah, happened. no. He was on a good one. Like, I would be in prison for murder. Yeah. Moida. No, for I don't Moida. think would have gone to prison. But after that, like, I was like, I want to get a gun. Like, I want a gun. And then, <laughs> like... I'm the motherfucker who, like, gets a gun and it gets used on me. They, like, I, yeah, shoot me up. Uh, like, everyone, everybody talks about, like, getting a gun for their house in self-defense. And I just don't believe in that because I'm like, yeah, because, bitch, you had a knife. Like, no, you if you weren't going to use a knife, you weren't going to use a gun. Even though, like, I get it, knife is, like, I close range contact. I think it's a different Okay, thing. but I told Drew this the fucking other day. I was like, you're the type of motherfucker that if you had a gun in the house, he would have came in the house, saw the gun, been like, damn, this gun isn't going to kill anybody. It's like a weak gun. I'm going to go to the pawn shop, get a better gun, and come back yeah, and kill Yeah, I mean, you. there was enough time in between, like, him being <laughs> in his house. He literally could have found my gun. In he literally could have Uber eats something yeah, to our house and then real. kept going. Yeah, but so suspect. Um, actually, a weird development to the story that happened at Christmas miss um was they like found the dude like based off of fingerprints Christmas and shit. Miracle. yeah they they called me on like the 23rd and was like yo we found the dude like do you want to come in and like um tell us if it's him or not and i was like yeah i'll do that and then they i was like just call me back when i'm in la and they never did and they kind of just the case it's also closed. like whatever it was just it was deaf just like a homeless dude who didn't mean any harm and just thought he was like i he literally just, hit the just yeah he was like i just found a, a empty house like i yes i'm sleeping i'm here, like bitch. living here and i'm squatting here and, and i'm this grooming is my house myself now. exactly like, this is my, i'm marking my territory yeah. fully. no if i was in his position i would have done the same thing yeah what the fuck like a hundred percent um so that happened and then continuing the cursed house saga yeah so i come back from my miami trip and i don't where do you go i think you went back to texas yeah i probably was like i need to get out of this house yeah drew ended up going back to texas when i came back and by this time it was like oh i guess it was a month later because or whatever basically it was the day after fourth of july no literally where were you if it was fourth of july i was in texas we didn't spend fourth of july here though i feel like we did it with josh's family that year I I was I've never had a fourth here. I've always gone back to oh, Texas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I went to Josh's house for mm. the Fourth of July, and I came back to the house. It was like a day later, and um, I was just here solo vibing. Um, I was 
sitting around all day and then I just was like, okay, I need to like shower and do something because I've been on my fucking iPhone all day. So I got up to go racking up the them screen time hours. Literally. I so I got up and I was like, I'm gonna wash the dishes and like take a shower. So I went to go run the shower and the water didn't turn on and I was like, what the fuck? Because we don't cover the water. Yeah. Our landlord covers water. Bill, yeah, we do power, whatever. Yeah, they do water. So I was like, what the fuck? Um, and then I came to the kitchen and the water wasn't working in there either. And I was like, huh, okay. Again, this is at the ripe age of 20. As now a 22-year-old, I would have been like, I'm calling my fucking landlord. And I'm going to be like, what Turn the fuck is happening with the water? On. But as a 20-year-old, I was like, it'll fix itself, I'm it'll sure. Itself yeah. Out. And I was like, maybe they're working on the pipes. Like, well, I don't know what the fuck that would mean, but whatever. <laughs> so I go to my room. I'm and working I'm- on your pipes. Now, what if I slap the fuck out of you, bitch? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now everyone listening is like, oh my God, did she slap him? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, uh. Um, so i go to my room and it was like summertime so my windows were open and beautiful summer breeze let the summer breeze in set the no, scene no literally like our house is an oven and i'm like please if i could just get one <laughs> fucking gust of air into my room i will like convert to pure religion they know our house is an oven based off of how my fucking face looks right now i am sweating <laughs> no, you don't look like you're sweating at all Ooh. you look beautiful stop really you look pretty no. too I know I look pretty. Shut up. Okay. So, um, I'm in my room. I'm on iPhone again. Back to iPhone. That's maybe the universe that day was like, just stay on iPhone. So I went back to my room. I'm on iPhone again and I am nosy as fuck and I hear my neighbors on the phone. So I turn off iPhone and I start listening and the neighbor under us was like, yeah, I smelled this burning smell and like the water isn't working. And I don't know. Last time this happened, like I didn't say anything and I, and I feel like I should have. I regret it. uh, Yeah. She was like, I regretted it. And I was like, Okay, first of all, what the fuck happened in your past life? Two um, times. This is the second time this happened to you. But then I was like, oh, okay. And right after she's off the phone, I get a call from my landlord. She's like, is the wa- water working in your house? And I was like, no. no. I assumed like y'all were working on something. And she was like, um, no. <laughs> Wait, I'm just laughing because like our water being off is like a normal occurrence to us because we just don't pay our bills. Like it's just like it's just like <laughs> funny because like. We don't pay our bills. We have... Well, no, not the water being off, but, like, the heat going off. Just, like, all of our shit being off all the time is just normal to us because, like... We don't have any bills on auto pay. I don't... I don't believe in auto pay. You shouldn't be taking money out of my account without I should be giving you money. Don't take money from me. Exactly. Let's wait till everything turns off and then I'll think about giving you money. And then I'll beg for you to turn everything on quick. We literally have a... $3,100 $3,100 bills <laughs> that we haven't paid in 18 months. Don't fucking expose us. Like, in oh my God, months. that's why my credit is bad because that's under my name. Is it, Is your credit bad right yes, now? Yes, and, and I've been paying everything and I was like, okay, I'm paying all my bills. Why is my credit so bad? What is it at? I don't want to say it publicly. That's embarrassing. Sign it. And we're literally on video. Wait, come. Sign it back here. Sign it back here. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> We need to pay. We literally need to get off. That's why today I was like, what if we just paid it? (laughs) No, we need to pay it now. I I didn't know it was that bad. I'm over here suffering in silence. (laughs) You literally need to, yeah, we need to pay. I was like, about I was like, why is it so bad? And then I was like, oh, maybe it's a medical bill. And I went, this isn't sponsored. I went through Credit Karma and I was like, let's see what it is. And those medical bills, I think, got like either absolved or like they're they just don't show up because they're from like private like health collection spots. agencies yeah um and i was like it's not that yeah we need to pay that literally today because that's like not fair that's not chill <laughs> that's not chill at all but we and then we also have another bill for 500 dollars. and today i got so excited i was like fuck yeah like they absolved <laughs> like they just washed the bill they like took the three thousand dollars away they were like you know what we'll give them a break like it was covid like and i thought i finessed the fucking system i was like they're not gonna come for their money like they're just making us pay <laughs> this just new a bill. different bill that was also five hundred dollars <laughs> but it's just a different bill that was just as expensive and um now we owe like four thousand dollars to la government people are gonna think like we're really fucking stupid and we are, we are um but like the way it started was me and drew were like sitting in the kitchen like this time last year with a friend of ours and 
we opened the bill in <laughs> front of him and literally our reactions were like at the time the bill was like 1600 yeah and we had been paying the bill but i think from josh's ac unit and us running the ac for the first summer ever the bill just skyrocketed it was, it was like a thousand dollars in one month in energy or something yeah it was like, like insane that. and we were like we opened it and we literally go <gasps> like it was like an actual like jump scare like i needed a trigger warning like i should have fucking sued the government for not putting a goddamn trigger warning on that bill because yeah. it was so fucking high it, it, it that bill triggered my fire or flight yeah. and then um again we love the reaction of people and he was just like our homie was like oh my god what and like we showed him and he also was like oh my god i've never seen that in my life and we were like wait wait we need we to get it higher it? we need to get it higher <laughs> and like something we do like on very unhealthy and very stupid and very bad obviously now we know for fu our credit or in his credit <laughs> <laughs> um, is uh we just like rack the bill up and we see how long we can go without paying it like it's just like fun. Like it's a little game. And it adds also, spice like, to it's life. Like, it's like, okay, that's not a me right now, Paul. Ah! <laughs> Did you break I your just nail? I fucking broke my nail. <laughs> You're so annoying. Ow. That scream was so <laughs> loud. <laughs> I don't even remember it. <laughs> You're so fucking annoying. This chair is so uncomfortable with these shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, because they're like getting shorter as you move up. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> But yeah, we just love the reaction we got out of our friends, and we were like, we should keep doing this. And I, and I did it today. I was like, I want to see something crazy. And oh I yeah, and we bill. got a good ass reaction out of Mason. Mason yeah. was like, oh my god, mm -hmm. and that's like the best part of it. But we shouldn't do that. I just don't believe in bills, and I don't believe in medical bills. I shouldn't have to be paying for anything medically happening to me. And hey, I'll carry that, that comrade. Uh, uh, a medical debt? That's a debt I'll carry till the day I fucking hey. die. I'm like, clean my teeth. No, yeah, I'll pay you later. <laughs> wink, <laughs> wink. <laughs> I'll pay you. No, I, I got you. I'm gonna be like, do the surgery. Oh, do the surgery on okay. me. Okay. Oh, what you're gonna you're gonna make? What you're are gonna, you gonna do, take it back? You're gonna undo the surgery? <laughs> yeah. Try to undo the surgery. Um, while we're exposing our <laughs> while we're exposing our medical bills, I want to talk about my gynecologist. <laughs> This one I actually have to pay because I have to go back to the gynecologist. But um, <laughs> I can just do it for you. Yeah, just spread me open, girl. <laughs> we could use some tongs. Just no, stick no, some tongs no. There. <laughs> That's all you have to do is just like make me uncomfortable back. <laughs> like we play the sus game, but like the straight sus game. That's like the something. The sus game is that? Did you just make that up? No, that's something like if you said that even six months ago to someone, that it would make absolutely no <laughs> sense to them. Like, actually, it makes no, no sense. You just said now. it to me, and it made no <laughs> it sense. Made no sense at all. Okay. Um, last bill I'll expose is um, I went to like the the gynecologist like six. No, dude, it's almost a year ago now. Yeah. I went to the gynecologist because I was like. I need to just go get my coochie checked on because something funky is happening this, down there. This discharge looks a little funky. Funky town is getting a little too funky. And honestly, <laughs> and honestly like her discharge did taste weird. Like <laughs> Funky town was violating some of the clauses in their bill. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it was itchy, itchy, stink, stink. Ah, <laughs> ah. Yeah, that's the scary part. It didn't smell different. That was what was scaring me, actually. Mm. But basically, I found out that I had bacterial vaginosis and a yeast infection at the same damn time, hey. which is pretty common. But we made sourdough bread in that oven. <laughs> <laughs> with you but basically when i went they were like oh that was a bar right? they were like you have to get tests to know if you have bacterial vaginosis mm -hmm. and they were like well we have to test this swab um and that the lab tests are gonna run you like 500 dollars because i also don't have health insurance and then i was like hmm, okay and they were like oh but you could just pay 250 now and we'll send you the 250 bill later if that makes you more comfortable well like when after we get the test results back we'll give you the rest and i was like yeah i'm gonna do that because like I, one i don't want to spend 500 dollars right now and then two how the fuck do i know y'all are actually gonna give me yeah. those results um so i was like okay and i spent the 250 and i was like okay yeah 
I, I even have the voice memos that I sent to you when I was like, I just spent $500 for my pussy to be fucking swabbed. Um, but <laughs> like the fact that that's a voice memo on my phone. I need to find it. Um, basically, not too long later, I get a pretty little bill in the mail and I'm like, oh, this is the 250 I owe. I opened it and it's $1,600 and it doesn't, they gave me an itemized bill. It doesn't have any late fees on there or anything. That's, see, that's why you bitches should have kept your fucking mouth shut. Scam letting everyone, ev- letting everyone know that we need, to, I like, I wish there was a way for everyone to know that you needed to get an itemized bill without the people themselves knowing, like yeah. the people who will give you an itemized bill, because now they know that they're like, bitch, don't ask any questions. We're going to send you the itemized bill. Yeah. You can't even ask for it. Yeah. Um, but basically, I haven't paid that back. And I'd literally rather my fucking pussy shrivel up and fall off my body <laughs> than to go back. Like, because I, 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 I'm not giving y'all any more money. Dude, we're literally just airing out like <laughs> us, like breaking the law. Like, we are literally criminals and fugitives. Because I have a medical bill that I have insurance. Like, I have insurance. And for some reason, they keep trying to get me to pay $260. And I'm, like, evading that bill. Like, fuck y'all. I'm not paying that. Like, come for my credit. I don't even have a credit score. Because I will never, ever, ever, ever get a credit score. I swear to God. Girl, you say that until we need to fucking get our own apartments. And then how the fuck are you going to move in? You're going to co-sign for me. I will. I do that for all my friends. Thank you. I I, I I was thinking about that last night. I was like, now how the fuck am I going to get a car in an apartment? And I was like, I'll just have someone co-sign. I me. literally would co-sign. I co-sign for all my bays. Bay, 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 I'll take bay, the L because I don't because I don't believe in that shit anyway. I'm like a credit score. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Well, like, no, I'm, I'm like, like, you can see my credit score, but I don't know if you want to believe that kind of stuff. <laughs> like they say all sorts of lies these days. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, but yeah, we need to pay that bill because like, like I'm actually like, suffering so bad. No, like, because you're not gonna. Bad. We're not gonna be able to get our own places. Yeah, I know. My credit score is not budging. I'm mm-hmm. just gonna have to be like, please look like. Believe in me. <laughs> <laughs> Put some faith in me, please. <laughs> trust in me we should wait until the stock market crashes the housing market crashes because it's just been put afloat they've been prolonging 2008 for so long and then we should just buy houses because they'll be like literally pennies on the dollar like i will buy a a 3.1 million dollar home for 1 million dollars and i will get rich in four years off that house baby that's my goal i don't know anything about that anyway let's get back to the topic of this fucking podcast yeah Um, uh, we went from our house almost being fucking destroyed to um we were broken in oh and then okay we haven't finished that yet my coochie aside we're back to 2020 my coochie was in good faith at that point (laughs) um (laughs) but (laughs) coochie's in good faith dude i'm sweating hard yeah Um, me fucking soon anyways sweat is natural and it's okay and if you see my sweat stains like you're lit it's chill you're lit it's because i'm too lit to quit I just made that up. Anyways, so she calls me and she's like, is the water working? And I'm like, no. And then she was like, okay, um, we're going to come check it out. So I'm just, again, I go back to being on iPhone. I'm doing my thing. And then she calls me again. She's like, hey, can you come downstairs? And I'm like, "Mm." yeah, I'll come downstairs. And we Mind go you, we to- have like a love hate relationship with our landlord. Oh like- no! After last night, I fucking hate her. Yeah, I despise evil. her, and landlords are fucking evil. And now <laughs> I fully believe in it. At first, I had good faith because any older woman, I'm like, you're mommy, and I have issues. So like, I love it. You're my mommy. <laughs> um, but now I fucking hate her. The way all everybody all landlords hates. are evil. Yeah. Um. So go downstairs and at the side of the house I, I don't know why this was never locked off it's if it's like facing the public and very easily accessible but again our landlord fucking sucks actually mm-hmm. and the access to the water pipes was open faced unlocked to the fucking sidewalk like yeah. on the street it's a busy sidewalk too. yeah it, i we, didn't realize this until like six months ago when you were telling the story again i didn't realize it was that water no yeah that, it's like uh, on cubby. the side of the house that's not gated off so you would think she has it's locked off now so if you're planning on fucking killing us you can't bitch and i won't <laughs> die by the hands of anybody and else. i have a gun now we don't have a gun but um okay yeah sure, sure we have a gun um we have like rockets and like shit too. so many guns and stuff yeah and a knife and a pocket knife and a butterfly knife and rockets and C4. I'll blow up my and, house and before you supreme, blow me up. And I have a supreme knife, so. Ooh. I have and, the Gucci okay, Guilty jo- Ghost <laughs> knife, bitch. Okay, yeah, finish the goddamn story. <laughs> so, 
I go downstairs and go to the side of the house and they're like all standing around this hole in the wall, like everybody in the building. And I'm like, you fucking old haggerty bitches. What are y'all doing? And I like pull up and <laughs> pull up ho. <laughs> pull up ho. <laughs> Literally. Okay. Um, <laughs> we can not get through one story. I look down and she's like, oh yeah. Very casual about it. She goes, oh, someone turned off the water on y'all side of the house and tried to set something on fire under there. And I was like, huh? huh? And I, I like crawl under and look in and lo and behold, the water is turned off on our side. And also there's like this pile of burned shit, like not sh- human feces, but just like garbage. Like someone ripped up newspaper, like very intentional and like yeah. took time. Someone ripped up newspaper. There's like a Coke can down there. I was there. about to say, and there it looked like fabric in the photo you sent. Like, yeah, there, looked- like someone shredded like flammable items and put them down there and like half of it was set on fire. But I think because it was like surrounded by dirt, it just went out really yeah. quick. Thank um, God. Or it's just our guardian angels. Shut your fucking trap. Um. Anyways, and so I was like, oh, this is attempted arson we need to report this this is we literally live in the most flammable city in the fucking world we need to report this and literally the neighbors old haggerty people who don't fucking care about their life anymore apparently i'm like i'm young and i have a long life to live you don't care about your 40 year old life anymore but i care about my life i have 20 years to be sad like you yeah, I, I got 20 more years so I get there. But they were like, oh, no, it's not that big of a deal. And I was like, am I living? Like, I feel like I'm pretty chill. Like, I'm a chill girl. She's chill. But I'm like, someone just attempted to literally burn our apartment complex down. On top of, they probably thought they turned off the water in the whole fucking building. They wanted us to have no chance of putting this fire yeah, out. Yeah, like, like real evil shit. Yeah, like, and, they, and they were like, oh... Fourth of July was yesterday. It's probably just some kids playing around. I was like, oh, yeah, no, just some kids attempting arson. Yeah, like, like what, what do you mean just some kids lighting fireworks under? Like, oh, and they also had, like, a weird fucking explanation. They were like, oh, some kid probably lit a firework and it just, like, shot under the house. And I was like, how is that fucking this possible? This is literally a pile of flammable goods under yeah. here. But basically, no one wanted to do anything about it. And I was home alone. And I was like, what the fuck? And they turned on the water. And they were like, it's not a big deal. And our landlord was like, I'll just lock this up so no one does it again. And I'm like... It wasn't locked before? Yeah, it wasn't like what? And she was like, no, yeah, we'll just lock it. It's no big deal anymore. And yeah, and then I came back upstairs and I was like, I'm going to report this because like, again, attempted arson in the most flammable city. Like, like they in tried the to US. burn our fucking house down. Like it was like, it was like a planned attack. They turned the water off. Yeah, I know. So I called the non-emergency line and I was like, hey, I want to like report something that happened. And they were like, okay, is this in a house or a building? And I was like, oh, it's in like an apartment building. And they were like, oh, if you're making a report on something that happened to like a property you don't a property own. you don't own, you can't file it. Your landlord has to. So I called my landlord and I was like, hey, can you file this? I would feel comfortable if this was like on record just in case anything does happen and our fucking house burns down. It's like, oh, this should be looked into. <laughs> like someone's tried to do this before. Yeah. And she's like, no, I don't want to. And then she just never did. Yeah. Um, and also, um our the when our house was broken into, we like asked our landlord we were like yo can you like install cameras and like ring um yeah because doorbells? like we were like this it's just not very secure yeah it's not very secure like this is weird and she was like no we can't do that sorry and then that was the end of the conversation like yeah we were like you can't do anything for security purposes she was like i don't want to she changed the locks and that was it yeah like okay um like thank you but so then that happens yeah and- so wait keep going and then like Two weeks later, we're all very uncomfortable in this house. Terrified. Like, yeah. literally, I can't be alone. Like, it's actually sad because, like, I would go, I'd, like, start falling asleep in my bedroom and then I'd hear something and I'd be like, Inya, can I, like, come sleep in your room with oh, you? Oh, yeah, Drew literally had to sleep in my room for, like, months after I that. could not sleep alone. Like, I couldn't be alone in this house and then... Um, oh, like just some weird incidents that happened in between. Like I was home alone for the first time. I was like excited oh. to do it. Like it was, I was like, yes, like I'm doing it. Like I actually feel kind of comfortable. Like I'm not like scared shitless. I mean, I was scared shitless. I like had knives with me in my bedroom and I, my, I was locked up in my room the whole night. Um, and I'm like getting ready to fall asleep. It's like one or 2 a.m. And then I hear these like loud ass bangs on my front door. Like, yeah. And it's like glass. So it's like fucking like. Yeah, it's like, just it's not even like that. It's like fucking loud. It's loud as shit. And I'm like, 
oh my fucking god and like literally i've never like experienced like that amount of like fear and dread and just like like even in the moment of like the home invasion yeah no because now you're having your body at first you were feeling shocked but now your body's like oh i know this yeah i know the situation like i freaked the fuck out i was like shaking like panicking i didn't know what to do i was like planning on jumping out of my balcony um door like onto the cars below and then i was like i was freaking the fuck out so i called india and i was like yo like someone's banging on the door someone's trying to get in like they're breaking in like I, I like started hiding in my closet because I was just like so petrified. Like I wish I could like get across like the fear. Like the no, it was pure real... fear because I was sleeping over at a friend's house and I got that call and I like literally immediately got up and put clothes on because I was like, oh my god, something's happening. Yeah, I was genuinely terrified and like I don't want to like self diagnose or anything, but like for like a long time, I genuinely think I had like real PTSD like from I, that. That's literally not self-diagnosing because ptsd is literally when you're you've rewired your brain now in like even like the slightest chance of like danger Danger. you go into full-fledged mode because your body or your brain cannot like identify a situation whether it's like oh this is like worst case scenario or not like your brain is just like we need to protect because yeah. last time we weren't ready to protect yeah. like it was it was just so gnarly i was freaking the fuck out and then like um like I'm freaking the fuck out. And so I, I'm like, okay, I just, I have to go. I have a knife. I have a knife. Like I'll be safe. So I go to the front door and literally it was a fucking Postmates driver. Um, and Orion accidentally <laughs> ordered Postmates to our house at 2 a.m., which like just at the wrong time. Like, yeah. The, like, like the worst possible time. Like if Inya was here, it would have been okay. Or yeah, because I probably would have been like, who the fuck is that? And just like, because also mind you, like, even after last night, like, I don't have a lot of fear in this house. But that's also because, like, I have, like, actual fucking boiled <laughs> real, rotten brain. And I'm just like, mmm. Real shit to be afraid of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, I spent too much of my life afraid of something's yeah. going to happen. Something's going to yeah. happen. It, which is a lie because I did get very scared. But whatever. Um, yeah. But, yeah. And then I came and got Drew. Yeah. And- they, they came and picked me up. And then I went and slept at that friend's house because I could not be alone. <laughs> yeah. And I ruined the night. No, it was a sleigh. We weren't doing anything. We were literally vibing. I don't like when I do my sleepovers. Like I like I'm in for. I like there's no sleeping at the over. Like, uh, there's no sleeping till it's over. Hey! Um. Okay. And then, so two weeks after the fucking fire incident, the we, arson. Incident. Yeah, the attempted arson. Me, Josh, and Drew were all at home, and we our sleeping schedules are pretty bad at this point. Like I was staying up till like. 6 7 a.m and mm-hmm. everyone else was and we were like fuck okay let's just fix our oh let's just fix our sleeping schedule and <laughs> <laughs> I, like, and so we just like literally just eat a bunch of sleep aid like not a bunch yeah, like a, a normal bunch. amount but we're like let's get our sleeping schedule back on track like let's like do this like let's all wake yes. up at 7 a.m tomorrow and just like start our day and have a good day so like we we take the sleeping medicine and then I go to my room, and also at this time, if you know my room, my room was originally the living room of this house, so I didn't have, like, doors. Like, there's a two entryways to the to what, what is my room now, mm-hmm. but what was supposed to be the main living room, there's two entryways. There's, like, a, like, glass door that you swing open, and then there was just a an empty space. So, at this point, I still didn't have a door. I still didn't have anything to cover up that fucking glass door. I was living in a fucking... In a viewing room, in, in a, a glass literal, shed. literal, like, living room. Yeah, like, like, literally. Covered in windows. There's a balcony. Couldn't use my wing bot. Someone could have easily... What was that? Just a random TikTok started playing. <laughs> um, couldn't use my wing bot. Couldn't do anything I wanted in my room because I didn't have a room. I was living in the living Your room. Your wing bot junior 3000. Yeah, I couldn't... Explain to the people what a wing bot is. They don't know. Oh, I don't want that to be public information. Fine, okay. Me and Orion call our vibrator. We have the same one, and we call it Wingbot because wing it looks like a little wing. That. It looks like a little chicken wing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. So yeah, you get the gist. No privacy. My room is empty, and also the house gets really fucking dark at night. And I was Scared. honestly so freaked out because it was just pitch black in my room. Mm-hmm. And again, we're in summertime. I have the windows kind of open because I want the breeze to come in, and. We all take our sleeping medicine. We're drowsy. I go to my room and I'm watching YouTube videos and I hear a child scream. 
a like, screech. Like a scream. Not a scream, and like it, a blood curdling scream. And at this point, it's like almost 1 a.m. So I was like, that's not normal. But, you know, one scream. Uh, okay, I'll, yeah. I can let that pass. And I keep watching and I'm also drowsy. So I'm like, I can't like rate my reaction right now. I don't know if I'm overreacting. Mm -hmm. So that one scream, I'm like, whatever. And then I keep watching my video and then I hear another scream and it's like getting closer to my room. And I was like, this is not okay. Yeah. And my windows were open, but like the blinds were down. Yeah. So I like kind of go and peek and I don't see anything. And I'm like, this is so fucking weird. So, so scary. And so then you like text me and you're like, Drew, there's like a kid screaming outside my door um outside my window right now and i'm like oh it's probably just like someone getting home late after a road trip blah 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 or it's probably our neighbor blah 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 like let's not put too much thought into it and then it like keeps getting worse and i'm like no please come and listen because it mm -hmm. keeps like it, it was going on forever yeah and then he comes to my room and he hears it and we're just like like when i tell you like instant like like again blood. i mean blood like flushes out of my face like i become like pale i get goosebumps like i have like shivers on my body like it was not like a normal scream and literally Enya has yeah, like I a recording because this it this is the second time i actually have both instances on video but the yeah. other one's on my phone other phone this is the scream but this is like a year later like this yeah. scream ha happened again but um, it's just like terrible Like, what is that? Like, what is that? Also, I remember someone was like, it's a coyote. I'm like... Have you heard of fucking coyote yeah, scream? Yeah, that's not a fucking coyote scream. That is scream. not a coyote. Um, So, like... Our, also, we don't live in an area for coyotes. We live in, like, the city The city middle yeah. of the city. And so, we hear that. We're both petrified. Inya is like... Or, I'm like, okay, like, let's go investigate. Like, let's... Like, let's go see what this is. I want a story. Like, I want to, like, bust the... The case of it. And I'm just like, there's a kid being killed, and I just want to make sure that there's no kid being killed. Yeah, so, like, like... I just want to see and we, make sure. We both wanted to, like, investigate. We were like, let's, like, figure this out. Like, we... But for different reasons. Like, I yeah. wanted... I wanted clout. <laughs> um, but... And then, <laughs> so, we were... But we were also like, dude, I we're so drowsy off this sleeping medicine. This feels like a bad idea. But I was like, okay... We're not doing anything crazy. I was like, let's not walk down the street because God forbid there's like danger, mm -hmm. which again is ass backwards because we were like drowsy off sleeping medicine, but we didn't take like fucking, we weren't on like a downer. We were literally on z -Quil. It was yeah. like, I could, I could sleep if I wanted. Yeah. Um, but I wasn't like delusional, but basically I'm like, let's just get in my car. We can drive down the street and like turn our flashes down because if it is a kid, I don't want a kid to be like scared of yeah. my headlights and be like. And like hide or anything, which I don't know why I thought that, but <laughs> yeah. it kind of makes sense. Delusional like, off the sleeping medicine. Yeah, so I was like, I'm gonna turn off my headlights and like drive down the street. I was all for it in the moment. I was yeah, like, yeah, no, definitely. Like this. Even is the way now, to do I'm it. like, it kind of makes sense, but it really doesn't. Yeah. But whatever. We're cruising down the street now, like looking out our windows, like trying to see if we see this kid anywhere, and like there's nothing. And mind yeah. you, this is within like 30 seconds of yeah. the kid screaming. So like. He couldn't have, or they couldn't have gone far at all. Like if there was like a kid like in danger out there. So we're like cruising down the street looking for like this child. We see nothing. And then like we pull up a little bit further to um, this like house that we thought was vacant. Yeah. Because um, like no one has ever been there the entire time we've lived here. Like there's never been a car parked in there. And randomly, there's like a car parked there. It's like 2 a.m. at this point. Behind the gate. Behind the gate with the trunk up. And there's three women like just unloading like giant, huge bags. giant bags of just like We whatever. don't know what. Yeah, we and don't know. And you could assume they were moving in because also like they had their blinds open. And it, it's such a weird like memory to think of because like the lights in their house were like fluorescent like yeah. white bright lights Gross and the walls lights. were all white in there and Every, it, was empty. it was empty it was completely yeah the empty. home was empty so like you could assume they were moving in but what they said to us was so fucking weird so suspect they they were just chilling out there and we um like we we pull up to like talk to them so we like i was like here let me like see if they heard anything so i rolled down my window and they're like oh do you live here um and we're like what we're like do we live there? Like, do y'all live there? Like, y'all are parked in yeah, the parking lot. Yeah, because they were like, do you live here? Do you need us to move our car? And we were like, uh, what? What do you mean? And so, 
instant red flags. Like, I don't know about India, but my heart started racing. I was like, this is very, very weird. Like, what is happening? So then I'm like, I'm just going to ask them, like, did y'all hear a kid screaming? Like, did y'all hear that kid screaming like less than two minutes ago? And they were like, no. Like, it felt, like, almost yeah, defensive. Yeah, it was, it was just weird. Yeah. They were like, no, we, we didn't hear anything. We haven't heard anything. Yeah, so we were like, huh? Like, and I was like, how long have y'all been outside? And they they were like, oh, we've been here a while. Yeah, like, I don't know. It was, it was just so suspect, and we were kind of like, um, me and Inya instantly were just, like, weirded the fuck out. So, like, <laughs> we, we turn the lights on. We get the fuck out of there. We, like, drive around the block. And, and I was like, don't pull in to irrational yeah. fears just started taking yeah over. we just started freaking out i was like don't pull into our driveway like i don't want them to see where we live just pull around the block and go the back way because i don't want them to see that we live in this house so they can come and attack us so like we drive around the block and then i'm like you know what i'm curious i want to see if they're still out there so like Inya like pulls out and then we see this like fucking scary ass man like stumbling down the street like like if you've seen Attack on Titan, like running like one of the Titans, like just like fucking weird as shit. And we're, me and Inya are staring at this and we're like, it looks like he's coming like right at us. Like, yeah. And then it also looked like he had a kid on his shoulders. Again, just like just, our brains were going like everywhere. Yeah. So we were freaking the fuck out at this dude just like charging at us. And we were like, oh my God, like he's going to attack us. Like he's like, what? I don't know what he I is. I must be the Titans because they're going to attack me. I have seen the show. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the Titan. He's the Titan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dumbass. Don't <laughs> reference shit you don't know, especially if it's like a really good anime. I'm a girl. Yeah, girls don't watch anime. <laughs> but yeah, so basically we got scared and then we drove around. I drove around the block because I didn't want him to see where we lived. And we finally got home. And then I was so fucking scared shitless. Me and Drew slept in his room and I slept yeah, on the Yeah, we floor. slept on the opposite side of the house. Because we were like, I, if there's a kid out there screaming, like, I don't want to hear it again. Yeah. And like looking back, we probably should have like reported that. But like literally we had just already reported like yeah, two something. Crimes. And I was like, like, yeah, two things. And I was like, oh, I don't want to. The other thing, like, other than the home invasion was literally, like, a homeless dude walking down the street, like, maybe less than a week after the house was invaded. I think this invaded. one happened after the scream. Oh, really? Yeah. Or I can't remember. Yeah. It, whatever. But basically, we, um, I was already asleep, so I'll let Inya tell this story. <laughs> Me and Josie were hanging out in my room, and we were just, like, on, I, no, yeah, this was after, because I think, I think I had a door at this point, because mm. I remember we locked my door. Mm. Yeah, so this was after the scream. We were finally settling back down. We were, like, okay, like, life is okay. We can live here. And... Me and Josie were hanging out in my room at like 1 a.m. And then we hear yelling and we're like, we stop our phones and like any music. And we're like, what is that? Like, like, (laughs) like that type of yelling. What was that? (laughs) That's literally me and Josie. We're like, hold on. What was that? that? (laughs) Um, So we hear like fucking mumbling and screaming. And then we're like frozen in fear and like listening. Yeah, a grown ass man. And then we just hear glass shattering and our front door is glass and fr- it, it, well, after we realized why it sounded like it was fucking at our front door, but we heard it at our front door and me and Josie, or Josie ran to Drew's room and I like was looking out the window to see if anybody was around, which again, like I'm brave as shit in these yeah. events. I'm just like, let me put my whole fucking face in view so they know that like a woman is in the house. Like, <laughs> like so dumb. But Josie went to go wake up Drew and Drew is like panicking. Because- I like I was deep asleep at this point and Josiah like shakes me awake. He's like, Drew, Drew, like the glass is breaking. Like someone's someone's here. Like wake up, like wake up. And he has a knife in his hand. And I'm like, Josiah, this is like the worst joke to play on me ever right now. Like I'm literally so scared. I'm already asleep. Like I'm basically crying at this point. Freak the fuck out. Still like PTSD ridden from the fucking home invasion. And Josiah's like, I'm not fucking joking. Again, I go into this fear mode. My heart's racing. Like yeah, I'm every petrified. we all like run to my room and lock it. And we're like all in there and like, huh? Like and I like call the police and I'm like, I, I don't know. Like I hear glass breaking. And like also last time th- when that guy broke into our house, he actually broke the neighbor, the downstairs neighbor's yeah. doors, uh, windows first. So I was like, dude, I, I don't know if it's like our windows or their windows, but like something just broke. I heard glass shatter and like a man screaming and 
like rustling around, but I don't know what's happening. The return of the intruder. Literally. And then the police show up fucking forever later because that's what they do. They're like, mm, that doesn't sound... It, no one's dead, I guess. Yeah, fuck. Um, so they show up finally. It takes fucking forever. I, I, I remember I actually had to call them again because I was like, yeah. no one's here still. Yeah. Um, they're like, they're patrolling the block. I'm like, girl, shut the fuck up. Patrol, Patrol the house. Patrol my ass. <laughs> Um, and then they come and they basically laugh in our face and they're like, what? It was just a homeless person who threw a glass bottle at your front doorstep, at your door. And there was glass everywhere. And they, they're so fucking stupid. They were like, did you do this? I was like, yeah, no, yeah, no I did it. I, in my drunken stoop, I just broke glass and then called y'all. Yeah, like, we did it. So annoying. Um, but basically they laughed at us and they were like, well, there's literally no one around. And I was like, yeah, cause y'all took an hour to get here, bitch. Yeah. Um, but that was that. And then we were safe for a while. Like Life almost was good. a year. Yeah, a, a year. year of nothingness other than when you got high and freaked out. You thought people- uh, <laughs> I got high. I got like, I don't get high often, but when I do, I get high. It get, people really don't believe the like paranoia. Yeah, no, urge- I, I get like high, high, like paralyzed in fear high. And, like- and off of nothing. Yeah, like it was like two milligram weed drink that I like got absolutely blasted in the outer space. And like I go to my room and I'm laying there and like my room has a bunch of windows and like you can see into our backyard and into our neighbor's backyard and you can see where it was like trash day. And so all the trash cans were on the street. And I was like, like I was hearing rustling around and I was like, ooh, I'm about to see like a raccoon, like fun. And then like I like hear our like our garbage cans like open and like there's like digging in the garbage can and i look over there and i'm like i'm like there's a there's a guy in our garbage can digging and he called me and i was like oh yeah i was like people do that because they like get the cans and you were like oh. i was and you so were like scared. but he's in the backyard yeah like. i was like so scared like irrationally afraid and then i like see like a white figure like dart through our bushes in the backyard and i'm like they're in our backyard like they're coming they're gonna break into the house like <laughs> and like enya's like like comes into my room and like calms me down and i'm like but it was literally probably just a raccoon the entire time yeah but, I, like, like there's a chance i wasn't even a human yeah but like i was terrified but, but that was the only yeah, time but i was yeah scared. other than that it was a we've had a very calm year and i despite everything it's my luck because i haven't like actually experienced like seeing another random stranger human in our house and yeah. like had that <laughs> stranger kind of fear. human i haven't seen like a stranger in the house so i don't have that kind of fear but i was i'm chill alone like i enjoy spending like time alone in the house and i i like to claim that i'm like not scared of anything um but actually that's a lie i'm not scared of ghosts and shit because i don't believe in that shit but i do believe in fucking scary ass murderers who want to kill me for no reason <laughs> so Last night, we invite Mason and Orion and Zamar, who ended up backing out, which I wish Zamar was here because, like, Zamar's reaction would have been so funny. Um, So, me, Drew, Orion, and Mason watched The Bachelor last night. So, we're having a little Bachelor night, and we're sitting there, and we're watching, and whatever, and Drew ends up, like, going to sleep because we had a long-ass day, and we stay up, and we finish, and then we're, like, we stay up even longer, and we're watching, like, tiktoks on the tv and just like you know doing what like young people do yeah days, just like, chilling like a hard chill sesh. hardcore chilling um and then it's like midnight and mason and ryan are like all right we're gonna leave and i was like okay cool and i go downstairs to walk them out you're like okay finally y'all overstay know, like, y'all's welcome every fucking, fucking go to time. sleep y'all are so fucking y'all smell like shit um but i'm like that's perfect 12 30 we have the podcast tomorrow i need to go to sleep anyways mm-hmm. um so I go to walk them out and I like, I follow them downstairs to lock the door and like to hug them by. So like I hug them by and they turn around and they both turn to me because we were talking about like going to a bar or something like this week. Um, and they were like, and Orion turns and she's like, oh, just hit me up like whenever you're free and you want to do that. And I was like, okay. And then she like looks to the side and she's like, <laughs> and, like Orion's shocked face is the so best. So funny. She's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. She goes, oh, and but she, she goes, oh um and like pushes me back in and mason's like looks to the side and is like oh my god and is like also scared and she's like your neighbor's door is just fucking wide open and it's dark in there and i was like what it's like 12 30 yeah it's like 12 30 and this is like an old couple mm. so it's not normal behavior at all so i like close the door behind me because azul's like roaming the house and i don't want her to get out 
Um, again, my main worry through anything is always Azul's like well being <laughs> because she's literally my child. She's helpless. Um, she's fucking stupid. That's what she oh, is. Oh, little Azul. We need to have an episode with Azul. We need to enter an interview. Yeah, Azul. we could just fucking put her in a kennel here and she'll scream for an hour. <laughs> that would actually be, That'd be awesome. hilarious. That's our day off. Uh. <laughs> okay. Um, and then. I like I, I start laughing because when I'm nervous or like uncomfortable, I start cracking the fuck up. So I'm just like cracking up and I'm like, stop, stop. And I like start laughing my ass off. And then we I was just like, OK, let's just like stand outside for a second and see. Maybe they like like left the house mm-hmm. to go grab something out of their car and they're like coming back. I don't know. I was just like making up things they could have been doing. And smoking a blunt on the street yeah maybe like this 80 year old couple was like fuck it like let's go grab ketamine off of our dealer he just pulled up like let's just go grab it so we were standing there and nothing so i start cracking up and i'm like stop no i'm not kidding i don't like this i can't do this also for more info i just binge watched that whole jcs uh like uh oh yeah criminology fucking psycho criminology account like i just watched so many things about murder literally like 30 hours of murder yeah i just consumed 13 hours of pure murder terror and like human mutilation deception and mutilation um so i'm my mind is like oh my god yeah no they got killed they got killed like they're dead or or we're dead next yeah the person's like, they gonna broke jump out. in there they killed the family and like, like and dipped left. um so i'm freaked out and mason and ryan were like okay so what now and like Orion's like just fucking go inside like because we were just like okay let's not make this a big deal whatever go inside and I was like I don't like this and Mason was like do you want me to stay because I was like Drew's literally asleep and if I wake Drew up he's gonna just freak out like it's not gonna be helpful like I'm just gonna scare him yeah like I don't want to like scare him further so I was just like oh my god and Mason's like do you want me to stay and because I can't ask anybody in my life for help ever even if I'm like in pure fear and whatever um i ignored him and i was like no you guys can go home i guess and i start crying because i'm like i fall in love like i'm freaked out and i like just melt into pure fear and like i'm not too close to mason but he saw me at like one of my weakest points last night like because i just like melted into fear and then basically we're like okay um let's just try and close it and orion was like i'll just close it like they probably maybe they left it open and i was like okay and she goes to close it but it won't close and like there's a dead body on the other side stop holding it up she she went to go close it and it wouldn't close and then we started now her fingerprints are on the scene yeah she closed it it like didn't close all the way but it was like kind of closed i was like okay and we were standing there was like it was like still a foot open though yeah no no it like held for a second and then it was like kind of windy out and it just like fully blew back up and we were like no and we all ran into Uh, my house uh, and i was like freaking out and we didn't know what to do and we were like calling our friends and we were like what do we do like i was like i don't want to fucking call the police dude they fucking suck balls they're not helpful so then we didn't know what to do because it was like now almost 1 a.m and i i hit up my landlord and i was like hey like there's a situation happening and i like said the address of this is where I fucked up. Yeah. I said the building number instead of the actual apartment number. Yeah. So she assumed I was talking about another apartment. And this comes in later. But I just wanted to clarify. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, there's a situation happening here. Blah, blah, blah. blah. And then um, our friends on who we called were just like, okay, just like knock on the door. Like maybe they went to sleep. Because I was even saying, I was like, Dude, we're probably overreacting. They probably, they're an older couple. They forgot to close the door. It's not that deep. Like, whatever. So, Omar was like, do you want me to knock on the door? And I was like, yes, because I literally can't do that. And uh. then she, so she rung the doorbell and knocked on the door. And we stood there for a minute and nothing. And then I was like, do I ring it again? And we just stood there for five minutes ringing the doorbell. Like, literally hell. And it's not the kind of doorbell that, like, the sound is at the front. The sound was coming from the back, like, in the house, yeah. like, upstairs in the house. So I kept ringing it and I even gave it, like, a double ring and, like, a triple ring at some point and nothing. So I was like, dude, there's no one in there's there. There's dead bodies in there. Yeah, there's no one alive in there. And yeah. I was like, no, yeah, they fucking, they're dead. Um, and then at this point, I'm like dead asleep, right? Yeah. And then like for some reason, I can just like feel this energy. Like I feel this energy shift and like there's just this okay. vibe turn. And so I like 
I, the vibe I wake up. The, I wake no, up no. and I go in there because I can feel this energy shift because I like have really great intuition. A motherfucking liar. Um, he told us that he got cold, so he he woke up to turn off his fucking AC and then he heard us freaking out. No, 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 no. I felt this energy like. No, you're a fucking liar, bitch. Um. <gasps> so my landlord calls me and Drew pulls up finally and he hears like the end, tail end of it and it's basically she's thinking. Or my landlord's just like... Oh, they're out of town. Yeah, they're out of town. No one should be in that unit. Like, it should be locked. And... That piques our interest. Yeah, that, like, sends me over. And I'm like, stop. I fucking hate this. And I was like, okay, no. So I'm like, I'm just going to call the non-emergency line. Because my landlord also sucks fucking balls. And... Won't do anything. Sucks and won't do anything. A landlord, like, girl, your job is to lord the land. Like, and you're not lording the land. You're telling one of your payers to lord the land because she was like she's like hmm what do you think we should do and i'm like why the fuck are you asking me bitch yeah and i'm like well get your ass over here and lock the fucking door yeah okay um, me earlier being like now as a 22 year old i would yell at her but i still can't because mm. i'm like scared i'm like what if she kicks me out uh. <laughs> but basically um she's like what what should we do and i was like I don't know. And she's like, okay, call the police and have them inspect and make sure that there's no random people in the house. And then um, tell me what happens then. And I was like, sure. And I hung up and she, I was like, she's telling me to fucking, to pull a full on yeah. investigation solo. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, or, break the law real quick. No, and then she's like, or like, are your roommates there? Like, are one of the men in the house, can they lock the door? Because I, you're, literally, you shouldn't do that. She, she's like, are any of the men in the house like, like I'm a man? Like, yeah, I'm I literally a pussy. said to her, I was like, I was like, there's boys in the house. There's, we don't have men here. Yeah, mind and she you. like laughed and she's like, huh, okay, have one of them close the door. And I was like, what? Basically, I end up calling the non-emergency. I tell them, and they're like, oh yeah, we have to send a patrol unit there. Like, it's a fucking open house. Like, we have to. There might be someone inside. Yeah, there might be someone squatting in there. So. They send the two most rinkety dinkety like Stop. fucking bullshit cops I've ever seen in they my entire life. They send literally children. Also, there are fucking takes, aids. It takes two hours, and yeah. I'm not kidding. It takes two fucking hours for anyone to show up. I had to call three times, and but in between it was so funny because we would like we <laughs> uh, were standing in silence and just we, like okay, we sat on the stairs for literally two hours, basically just like listening for sounds from the apartment, and we'd hear like a single like. Literally, our old house just creak, and we'd yeah. all jump up and be we, like, ah! we out. And at one point, we, like, went down the stairs to, like, investigate a little more. And, like, I, like, am recording. I actually just got chills from the sound. <laughs> and, like, I'm recording, and we're all, like, dead silence. And we hear this, like, like, <sighs> like breathing sound from inside the apartment. And, like, we all freak the <laughs> fuck out. Scream. We also, scream like, and realistically, run back inside. if someone was in there, we, we were not being good at being like, we don't know what's happening. Don't kill us. We we sounded like we wanted to be killed. Yeah. We were like screaming all the time, and we were like, good thing I have my gun. Yeah, I was like, I have guns and knives and RPGs, and I'm ready to blow up anybody who tries to come into this house. Dude, so stupid. But we got a lot of funny footage out of it. Um, but basically, I'm here's gonna play where... one of our screams actually because it's actually <laughs> hilarious. Um, also. This story gets very embarrassing on my side. Not fully embarrassing. I do want to say, like, I did it all in good faith. <laughs> like, that's us after hearing, like, breathing from the apartment on the other side. Like, probably someone inside the door that just fell down the stairs and broke the neck. <laughs> like, help me. Help me. And there's... So, okay, I before I make a fool out of myself and say what ended up happening... I want to say that I did it all in good faith. Mm. It still, I would like if if my home was just open all night, especially like we don't live in a bad area, but we live in a busy area, like yeah. a lot of randoms because we live in such a middle ground between like two parts of the cities that a lot of people. And our apartment complex has literally been invaded. Yeah, our, our apartment complex is just like notorious for like people trying to break in breaking we're in on the corner pulling of like up. a busy intersection yeah we're on the corner of like a really busy street two streets and so i was just like dude even if like they're up there like i i am personally scared to 
one knock because i don't know if they're up there i don't know if it's a random mm-hmm. person up there i don't know if no one's up there i don't want to like fully involve myself and put myself and my friends in danger so i'm just like i need to call someone else to like litigate the situation and like yeah i it was just like a weird thing of like do i shut my mouth and close my door and like have good faith that like everybody in the world is good and that if someone walked by and saw this door open that they wouldn't kill them yeah or do I take that burden off of my shoulder and just be like, okay, like I would want someone to do this for me. Like if yeah. my door was open, I would want someone to call help and be like, close your door, please. Um, and also we had knocked the fuck out. We were being loud. You heard in that clip, we were being so loud. So in our head, we were like, either no one's in there or someone's in there and like, needs help needs help or something like we were or like there's someone in there just like rummaging through the crib and they're scared shitless and they yeah and they're like oh out. someone knows i'm in here yeah. like whatever so finally the cops show up the most <laughs> yeah the, cops. yeah the most like they were our age we literally called two people our age with like the same education as us but except for some reason Mind they were you, legally allowed what to i think it was is it was a minor emergency so i think they just sent them on like a little training exhibition because yeah, they were like, they were like calling calls. for help and they were like i don't know what to do next yeah. like they really didn't know what they were doing but like whatever so i explained the situation to them and like in my head also for more context i as far as we thought no one was supposed to be in the house we thought yeah. that couple was on vacation yeah because we, I had a big miscommunication with my landlord, which honestly is still on her fucking fault. Stinky because landlord. I, I described it. I was like, oh, it's the older couple, the two like older people who live next to us. That's who I'm talking about. I was like mm-hmm. very clear that I was talking about them, and she still didn't get the hint. But whatever, it's miscommunication. It's kind of all my fault, but it's also her fucking fault because she's a landlord and she could have just pulled up and locked the door. Yeah, that would have solved everything. Period. She, I, because I asked her, I was like, "Do you have an extra key?" She was like, "Yeah, but can you just close it and I'll lock it in the morning?" And I was like, "No, no, Lord. bitch." Also, we tried to wiggle the the handle shut and it wouldn't close because our house is really old and all the handles like you really have to wiggle to get closed. Um, so I was like, and I'm not doing that because if someone's in there and like thinks I'm a fucking intruder and kills me, Blast then you away with a the shotgun. Then what the fuck do I do? Basically, then how are we going to record the podcast? <laughs> I'm like, you don't understand. I have a podcast tomorrow. Like, get your ass over here. Figure this come out. Come on. Also, not me saying the name of my landlord. We have to bleep that out. Um, basically, the cops ask. I explain, and they're like, "All right, well, we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up. You're gonna hear us yell that it's like the police. Um, and if you're rummaging, it's us." And we're like. Okay, so we're all like being nosy as fuck and standing next to the wall. Which because is extremely our- dangerous because our wall, we share a wall with this apartment and God forbid the cops shot someone and yeah, shot and like, our head with a bullet yeah. through our wall. So that wasn't smart on us, but we were all being nosy and we were all like listening through the wall and we hear that someone's in the house and like we're like yes like we we're just like stopped. oh my god we just we just like stopped we just saved the world we stopped the home the invasion Woo! and then we keep listening and we're like hmm. they just said our landlord's name you're like the person who's who just broke into that house knows the name of the landlord that's odd and we keep listening and then i'm like we hear two voices yeah and it's a like, man and a woman and i'm like oh they're kind older of voice. old and like they don't uh, our neighbors don't speak english so i was like it doesn't sound like their english is coming out too i'm like oh <laughs> i'm standing there and i'm like i think i just called i think i just ordered a breaking and entering yeah. by the police on my fucking neighbor yeah. basically what ended up happening is i had a miscommunication with the landlord which again this is her fucking fault because if she just pulled up with the goddamn key and closed the fucking door like it was her job to fucking do i wouldn't have to get involved so heavily but she thought i was talking about a different neighbor who was on vacation and this older couple was not on vacation they were home and they just left they their just front left door, the door open, open and went to sleep with it open and we just called the cops on our neighbors who were just peacefully sleeping in their bed and um, now they have extreme ptsd and like they were petrified like they, they were talking about it this morning still for like two hours while i was awake just rightfully around. so dude I, I felt so bad i felt like a fucking idiot but again, in my head, I was like, dude, their door, Drew even got it on video, which we won't show because I don't want to like show our neighbor's door, but like their door was wide open and our shit is lit up. Like if you were walking by, you could easily see that. Mm-hmm. 
So I don't have any regrets in the fact that like I am like such a fu- I'm just an empath and like I like think about people like that and I like I didn't want anything. See, to that's your that. problem. Like you like no, let that, people's yeah, no. emotions yeah, like, and get I'm, a hold of you, and you need to like take care of that. I know I need to like take care of myself and like be a little more selfish, but I just can't help it because like other people. You like, feel for other me. people. I'm yeah. a soci- I'm like what's called a sociopath. Oh, what's that? Like I don't care about anybody's feelings oh. at all, and like well, I maybe don't, that's why we make a good even... match because like I do all the caring and you do all the like. Yeah, and I don't even like, think I have emotions. So oh, like, that's good. Like I wish I had that. And like I like because I know, but like actually, I have I... So, like I have such a deep, deep, deep care for people that like sometimes it hurts me, but like I just like love the idea that I'm like better than a lot of people. Oh and yeah, that, like, like I will always care for other people. Oh, see, I'm like different because like I want to see people. You know bleed. that's bad, so you shouldn't keep repeating it. And I want people to die. Um, but yeah, that's how I made a fucking fool of myself. I'm a goddamn disgrace and a mockery and I was so fucking embarrassed, but life is good. (laughs) Life is good. And that's the episode. I'm so fucking sweaty. We need to get an AC situation figured out. But it'll be so loud with all the mics. What we should do is blast the AC in here before we film. So we have at least 10, 15 minutes of like cool air. True, true. (laughs) Fill up the the windows. Okay. And yeah, so that that concludes. Oh shit, we're gonna say our favorite media, but yeah, that concludes our um our cursed, fucking, scary, terrifying home that everyone's probably like, why do y'all still live there? Like y'all have like I personally like this apartment. Y'all have like terrible experiences there. Like like literally, y'all are in danger there. Like what's what what's keeping y'all home there? Home is home. Home is where the heart is, and my heart is here, baby. Home is where you piss the bed. <laughs> so you be pissing the bed here? Yeah, I have a purple mattress. Oh yeah, so it just gets into like it's like an ice cube tray. Exactly, exactly. And but then it's in like the morning, warm. you stick a straw in there. <laughs> yeah, it's like really, really good. Okay, shut the fuck up. Let's get into media and then y'all can go on your merry fucking way and have a good rest of your day and think about how traumatic our life is and how you should care about us the way I care about other people because I am an empath. And I'm a sociopath. All right, I go first, you fucking bitch. Go ahead. So I'll give... I'll give a few of my favorite songs. I don't have like a favorite album, but I have a few favorite songs. Um, Oh! I have Hey, Get Out of My Way by The Cardigans. Lumberjack by Tyler, The Creator. Oh, that was going to say that one. I was just about to say, actually, by the time this comes out, like the album would have been out for like three weeks. Um, So people are going to be like, damn, bitch, you're fake. Like you like that's your favorite song of the album is the single. I haven't heard the album yet. Yeah. So the single is my favorite. Um, and then Smoking Gun by Magnolia Shorty and then Blouse by Claro. Ooh. And those are my four She's songs. been blasting Blouse by Claro. Yeah. She it makes loves me feel that sweet. song. It makes me feel sweet and sexy and I love her. I'm going to do a movie in a couple songs, I think. Yeah, um, I don't have a movie, bitch. Oh, actually, The Birdcage. That's my movie. Oh, yeah, you've been talking about that. I still need to watch that. Um, Happy Pride! My movie is The Parent Trap. Watch it, rewatch it. Um, it is masterclass cinema. It doesn't really get better than that. And like you actually lose Lindsay Lohan in her roles and she's playing very, very complex positions or um characters and like not enough people like talk about like how good she actually acted as like a child in that movie. And yeah, y'all should just watch it and watch it with like a very critical lens and like <laughs> Have fun watch, with it. Watch it and then make um, an eight paragraph description on Letterboxd. No, you know what song I'm going to say? Yeah. West Coast by Lana Del Rey. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. Ooh. Listen to that fucking song again. And be, that. You know what song I was thinking of the other day? It was like, be a, who be you are. A, what? Be proud like an American. Um, and also Touching always Nicole. returning by Brian Inu. Listen to that. Listen to West Coast by Lana Del Rey. Have some fun while watching The Parent Trap and live your fucking life. And read The Body Keeps the Score. I'm only two chapters in, but literally when you were talking about PTSD and I said all that like crazy dumb shit, like that's not from my brain. I learned that from that book. Ooh, but that is from your brain because ooh, you learned it from ooh, a book. Ooh, ooh, okay. Ooh, 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 that ooh. was this episode of Emergency Intercom. Thank you for listening to Emergency Intercom. Oh. Um, be back next week. We'll be here. And maybe more queer. 
Okay, bye.